you are a data engineer and looking for the change, then this video is very important for you. Today, I'm going to discuss about the data engineering interview question, which might get asked in your upcoming interview. So the question is, you have to write an SQL query to retrieve the each record along with the new column. So you have to find the a new column total unit sold that represents the running total. So here is the cat. By seeing that total unit sold, right, you are seems to be very easy. Like it's very easy. We have to ju just do the sum. But the question is, we have to find the running total. Running total is nothing cumulative. So what is the cumulative? We have to show the record like we have a laptop, right? So we have three day sale of laptop. First day it sold 100 unit second day 1500 third day 800 so for the first day we will in total it should show 100 1000 and for the second day it should show 1000 plus 1500 so for the third day it should show the sum of of all three so how we will do that along with that what we have to do we have to show all these three column as well so we have to not skip any column as well as we have to not skip any record so consecutive orders we have to show this so how we will do that so if you do the sum right basically if you want to do the sum for the laptop right it will show one record and we can't group it with for showing the three column you we have to use in select and we can't group the all three if you'll group all three together what will happen it will so individual record not the sum so for that what we will use we will use the analytics function so what will happen we will use the sum over here and what we have to do the sum we have to do the sum of unit sold right so we will use over here unit sold and we will use over and in the over function we, we will use the partition by what we have to do the partition we have to do the partition on item name so if we will do the partition then we have to do the order by so we will do order by and we have to order on the sale date right so we will do the sale date over here and we will give this name as total unit sold and just if you look into the record over here for keyboard right first day we can see it has been sold 300 for the second day 450 so total of 300 and 450 750 so this way you can resolve this if very easy you have to just remember like you with the sum we can use the analytical function so without group by we can just partition our table on the basis of what grouping i required if you have any another way to resolve this you can put down into the comment i will definitely going to review your code